personal account. I really feel that everybody needs to hear more stories like this. Um, okay, so right now we are going to open stacks so that you can get on to free speech. Um, the symbol to get on stacks is two fingers up in the air, and this lovely lady in the orange pants, Seraphin, is going to take stack, and that is how we are going to um, do this. If you have a lot to say, that's great, but there are many people that have a lot to say, so just be conscious of that. Also, if you have any demands, any grievances, any response that you want to be heard, either chalk it out, put it on the banner, just let people know. We're also going to have a march after this to the skirmish point, and then over to the police station where you can file complaints against UCPD for their presence on our campus. Okay, who do we have first on stack? Uh, we have a... Uh... Hello, hello, we have Micah. Micah, first on stack. Yeah. What color do you like better? Like Mac. Woo! Woo! Hey. <laughs> Um, my name is Micah. I'm, an, I'm actually a student at RCC right now, and I've spent more time on this campus over the last few months, uh, and not even being a student here yet, I feel really uh, connected with this campus and some of the professors and a lot of the students already. Um, when I transition here, uh, I don't think I'm going to have a hard time um, fitting in and uh, getting into this thing, but um, it also brings up the whole point of being here. and. Um, <clears throat> You know, there's a part of me, and some of the professors spoke to this before they, before we um, did this, and they were talking about how it's a, a right and it's our duty to get educated, and um, it shouldn't, we shouldn't feel guilty for that. And I say that because there's a part of me, based on what's going on with the economy right now, and a lot of the comments you hear, uh, people saying things such as like um, that we're lazy and that we deserve, that we're entitled, and all this stuff. Um, there's a part of me that has this like guilt and shame that I, I I go to school, you know, like I'm not supposed to do this or something. Like I should just get this job. And uh, thank you for sharing what you guys shared because I was like almost in tears sitting there listening to this, realizing that this is okay to be here. Um, I'm 37. I should technically uh, be already like married. I have I'm married. I should have like kids and I should have a house and all these things by the standard of the American dream and how that's supposed to work. Um, I'm a 37 year old returning student. I've had a life that's been like all over the place. I've had ups and downs and whatever, and I'm here now doing uh, what I want to do with my life, and um, I feel like it's for the greater good. And uh, I, I'm really um, disappointed in the fact that uh, like my grandparents were the generation that um, had to hunker down because of the depression and all that to build up a system that we could live in, and then the group after that is coming along and tearing it all apart and, uh, and creating a system that's uh, not where, there, where there's nothing left but a mess for us in the future system to go um, generations to go into. So I'm putting my attention towards those that are my age and younger and, uh, and, uh, and looking there for the redemption and the health and the healing of this planet because I'm not, I can't look above anymore. Uh, it's not happening. Um, the people above have done nothing but take and uh, dismantle. And uh, you know, um, right now at RCC, one of the things that's going on with students that are our Getsy students, uh, the ones that when you do your IGETSI transfer to get into UC or to uh, CSU, um, this semester, anybody who has over 30 units is being dropped from financial aid. And you can't go to your counselor and appeal to have that changed on your student education plan. So what they're doing is saying, we can't change it, sorry, uh, you have to do the rest of your uh, 15, 30 units uh, without financial aid. And uh, this is happening at RCC. I'm sure it's happening at all the community colleges. This is uh, uh, as of this month. And so, I mean, it's affecting everybody on all levels, you know. I rely on, uh, on student uh, education. I rely on student um, aid to uh, go to school. I go to school. I, I work on, uh, at the Disability Student Services on campus. Um, I'm involved in two clubs. I'm involved in all kinds of extracurricular activities, and I'm a full-time student, I'm an honor student, and I'm a straight-A student, and I want to come here, and I want to come here, and I want to get my education, and I don't want to pay $20,000 to do that. I, can't, I went through several private institutions before coming here, University of Phoenix, all those bullcrap uh, institutions, and, uh, and I already racked up $35,000 in debt. 
So I don't plan on adding to that, you know, and so um, I, I'm here to fight until it, it, it needs to, um, until it changes. So thank you.